question is in order on why some of these emerging market stocks, even though you're not a stocks guy, are trailing, where the debt is actually potentially a better opportunity for return. What's happening on the balance sheet side of things, I guess, that, that makes EM debt worth taking a look at? Well, something that's very important to keep in mind is that the econo econo ec economically, the world is global now. Uh, interest rates are global interest rate markets, not just the U.S. interest rate market or the Japanese interest rate market. Developed markets have had very low yields and yield-hungry investors at the same time. So to fill the gap in between what we want and what we can get, we have to look at other opportunities. So emerging market, um, whether it be a, uh, a tr let's say their, their version of a treasury, their government debt, uh, or a corporate bond, let's say their version of an AT&T or a Verizon is gonna, needs to borrow money, they can borrow it in the U.S. market from U.S. investors. We get paid a premium for that. We earn uh, a higher interest rate, but relative to the interest rates that they were receiving on their own debt market, their own local currency, their own, their own, deno their own uh, currency denominated debt, they're able to still save a lot of money. So the balance sheets of these emerging market corporates uh, and also the emerging market uh, economies as a whole start to look a lot better. So we see that in emerging markets, the debt itself uh, tends to lead a rally and equity tends to follow. So the debt has attracted uh, a lot more investors to start.